Well, I hope I was able to answer all of your questions. Uh, this campaign, like any campaign, will be about which candidate best reflects the values and priorities of the voters in Missouri. My priorities are to increase access to health care in Missouri, to protect Missouri jobs by carefully using economic incentives for businesses that create jobs and keep those jobs in Missouri, and to ensure all of our children have access to world-class education, pre-K through college, an education that will equip them to compete in a global economy. These are not the priorities of our current Lieutenant Governor. He has pushed um, he has not pushed increased access to health care for seniors. He has supported tax credits with no guarantees that Missouri jobs will be protected. And he has defended subsidies for private education at every opportunity. Now, I'm running for lieutenant governor for the same reason that I became a doctor, to help people. That means if there is legislation in the House that affects patients, that takes away health care from patients, I'm going to fight to stop that even if I also take care of Medicaid patients. That means if advocacy groups come to me and say, we can't get doctors to come in our rural areas because Medicaid pays them less than it costs to provide their services. They won't take care of Medicaid patients. They won't come to our rural areas. Then you bet I'm gonna to fight to try and increase reimbursement to those doctors. So they'll, have, they'll be able to take care of patients in our rural areas, in our, in our underserved areas, because that's the right thing to do. I'm not gonna walk away from that because I was elected to fight take care of access to health care. I'm going to do everything I can as a full-time legislator, legislator full-time lieutenant governor, to try and protect seniors, to fight for our veterans in this state. I'll wake up every day and ask myself, what can I do to improve the daily lives of our people in Missouri? I'll be acting in ensuring only good le legislation passes through the Missouri Senate. And patients in Missouri, people in Missouri, are getting the health care that they need. Thank you for being here today, and I look forward to visiting your towns as I travel through Missouri over the next uh, next 53 days. And I, uh, I'm really delighted to be here today. This is going to be an exciting race to follow. Thank you. I appreciate all of you being here as well, and uh, I'm honored and humbled by the trust of the people the last four years in holding the office of Lieutenant Governor uh, in, in, in fighting for seniors getting 180,000 almost low-income Missouri seniors the prescription drug help they need, even though Representative Page voted to cut that program by $6 million a little over two years ago. Um, advocating for the Senior Meals Program, fighting the crime of financial exploitation of the elderly, which I was not able to get to here tonight, setting up the Missouri Military Family Relief Fund to help our families have deployed guardsmen and women and reservists who are deployed in the global war on terror with financial strain that they experience while that loved one is off in the fight. The Missouri Military Family Relief Fund, which we accepted a $50,000 check yes, yesterday for, from Dr. Pepper for, and I thank them. Uh, the tour of Missouri, if, if a lot of lieutenant governors had done nothing else and had done that, they would, they would uh, run for re-election on that. It's, it's a tremendous thing for our state. I look forward to Representative Page being uh, able to learn more about how positive it is for our state and get out and talk with folks about it. Uh, I, am, I am immensely honored by the public trust that I've had these last four years and pledge to continue working for Missourians as a full-time lieutenant governor. Uh, I'm the only person in this race who has served as acting governor again for over 100 days and some more days coming up. Uh, and that has been a big learning experience. By the way, in the time I'm acting governor, I, I don't use security, I don't use the highway patrol, except uh, those 100 plus days, maybe uh, two or three times uh, for driving. I drive myself around the state, that way I can visit folks. I'm probably the only statewide elected official who drives himself around the state, mostly alone, of 50,000 miles a year. I ask for your support for another four years. Thank you. I want to thank again for having me here. Uh, I think I would be the best choice for Lieutenant Governor. And as I said before, I do not belong to either the Republican Party or the Democrat Party. I can work independently with both parties. I will work for lower taxes, smaller government. I, uh, I support school choice. I will work to stop eminent domain abuse. I will stop to make 
make sure we do not have ethanol mandates. We do not need ethanol. I'm a pro-life candidate, and I also will work to stop our possible next governor, Mr. Halsoff, from turning our interstate highways into toll roads. Why would you want to sell our interstate highway systems to a private organization and then make the citizens of Missouri pay to use them roads. We already pay federal gas taxes, state taxes, and the toll roads would just be another tax on the people. And for those people who think, well, I don't use toll roads, it isn't going to affect me. It is going to affect you because everything that is delivered to you is delivered by trucks. So who's, who are them costs going to be passed on to? It's going to be passed on to every citizen here in Missouri. Again, I want to thank everyone. Thank you all for having me here. Thank you, Teddy. Let's give our candidates a